looking at Modern Street and County Cycle. This is our school. It is called St Aidan's National School beside St Aidan's Church. There is our school field. We play on it when it's dry. This is Lotgara Lake. It is a short distance from our school. The small islands were man-made and chronogs were built on them in the Bronze Age. There are some big islands too. Now we'll see St Tract as well. It is one kilometre from our school. You can see cursing stones on the top of the well. This is Slaughter Cross. On the cross is Jesus and on his left hand side is the ladder, the rope and pillar and the coffin pot. On his right hand side is the whip, the pinchers, the hammer and bombs. The cross is located on the back wall of the well. The well is named after St Tracta who came from Ulster. She founded a hospital in Claret. Hattern Day was held at St Tracta's well where there was prayer said on the 11th of August. Then they would go to the McDermott estate where they had the sports. St Tracta was given the veil by St Patrick. It is also believed she walked across Loch Gara. She had flagstones under the water and then she walked across the lake. The cross is also on her school crest. This is the Clover Stone boat. On the old map it is called Cashel Moor. Here it is from the sky. It is approximately 27.3 metres wide. It is approximately 2.5 metres high and approximately 5 metres thick. It is on the McDermott's land and there is a special gate to go into it. Now you can see the suit rail from the air. There is some artwork. The sutrain is made from dry stone wall and it is for storage. The roof was made from flagstones. We go down to the sutrain. There's Jason, Dara, Adam and Orla going in. Now we are waiting for them to come out. There's the entrance. The to the stone fort. There could have been an arch there before. The stone fort dates back to the Bronze Age. This is Monastraden Graveyard. It used to be called Cashel de Monastruck. It was said that St. Aidan had a monastery there in 560 AD. The graveyard is the only circular graveyard in Ireland that is in use. In 1830 there was a ruin of a church there. The new modern graveyard wall is built on the walls of an old stone fort. The oldest marked grave we found was John Aidan, 1886. Lots of gravestones have no markings. There is one unmarked. There is Celtic crosses in the grave. There is key in pointing out the old castle wall. There is the souterrain. It is covered over because there is a drop into it. We use the stone fort as the setting for St. Aidan's Monastery. You're my first new pupil in months. New pupil? I'm not joining your school. I'm just looking for my little brother. Who are you? My name is Aidan. This is my monastic school. 
I thought this was a graveyard. No, this is a monastic school. There's no classrooms. When did the school open? Back in 560 AD. But it's 2007 now. No, it's 567 AD. Where do you come from, my child? A village called Monastraden. It's only a small bit away from here. But this is called Teshet. Monastraden? Why is your village called Monastraden? It must be named after you, St. Aidan, Monastery of Aidan.